Mountain. Wow. Been a rainy night and kind of out of nowhere. Uh, yeah, it's in pop a sense, up thunderstorms. Anyway. I know summer like pattern. These thunderstorms pop up out of nowhere. Yeah. And we are actually tracking a flash flood warning right now. Uh, so that's important to get to for folks in St. Clair and Talladega County. This is going to last until 1 a.m. because we have heavy downpours that aren't moving a whole lot through St. Clair and Talladega County, right over Talladega Super Speedway towards Lincoln, as well as down towards Pell City and right along the I 20 corridor. Or heavy rainfall and a lot of lightning as well. So not a good idea to be out and about on the roadways right now, especially if you're traveling along I-20 eastbound towards Georgia. So uh, still seeing a good bit of lightning here through Talladega and tracking towards Vincent through Shelby County right now. These are slowly moving off to the south, so they'll start to track through Childersburg in the next 10 to 15 minutes, slowly sinking down to the south through Pell City and then down towards Lake Purdy as well. Rain is finally starting to come to a little bit of an end towards downtown Birmingham, but still seeing some light showers out there. Here's a live look right now. You can see those flash of lightning too. Lightning is starting to die down too. That's, so that's a sign that things are starting to weaken and these storms will eventually come to an end overnight tonight. But right now, temperatures are hanging on to the upper 60s, so cooling off just a bit thanks to all the rain. Where we didn't see the rain, we're still pretty mild. Look at Fayette at 76 right now, Tuscaloosa at 78, but quite Quite the difference where we have the heavier downpours cooling us down this evening. And today it was another hot one. The rain really held off until we got later into the evening. So we were able to hit 90 once again today. So well above average again. And we are going to continue with the hot and humid temperatures through the start of the week. So overnight tonight, we are going to see the rain and thunderstorms come to an end really after midnight, 1 o'clock. Starting off your Monday on a dry note, but seeing a lot of cloud cover out there. That will keep our temperatures mild. Going to be in the low 70s once again to wake up for your Monday. So comfortable start, but you walk out the door, my glasses fog up. It is humid out there. That's the way it's going to feel when you walk out the door to start off the work week. So thunderstorms will start to pop up again really around 11 o'clock to noon, starting to see a few showers in West Alabama. They're going to start to pop up at random once again through the afternoon, continuing through the evening. About a 40 to 50 percent chance of seeing the rain in your area. Going to be another hot and humid day in the upper 80s, low 90s for some spots. But you can notice a little bit more cloud cover as well as a good chance of seeing the thunderstorms to cool us down just a bit, so going to be a little bit harder to get into the 90s tomorrow, but hey, hot and humid, not going to see much of, or feel much of a difference with just a few degrees here and there. We'll dry out again overnight, Monday night into Tuesday, and rinse and repeat over the next several days. You can see that on Futurecast. I wanted to zoom out to show you the overall pattern here. Just tropical air mass in place. Gulf air just feeling all these thunderstorms. When you have that really unstable air in place, does doesn't take much to fire up some thunderstorms each and every afternoon over the next several days. So you may not see the rain each afternoon, but the chance is there through the next several days. You'll see that in the Storm Team 7-day forecast. So for tomorrow, we're going to be in the low 90s, upper 80s, going to be a little bit harder to get above that 90 degree mark. So on average, we'll be in the upper 80s, low 90s. Scattered storms mainly in the afternoon, starting off the day on a dry note, but then we'll see the afternoon thunderstorms and heavy downpours pop up. And just like we saw today, we did have one severe thunderstorm warning. So even though you may not see severe storms everywhere where you do see the thunderstorms, heavy lightning, torrential downpours, just make sure you get indoors if you do hear the thunder. So over the next several days, we stay very unsettled with temperatures in the upper 80s, low 90s, starting off each morning in the low 70s. And we hang on to the rain chances through next weekend.